I've been eagerly awaiting this day for so long, and it finally came. I got to see King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Not just once, but three times. May 20th through the 22nd, King Gizzard came to Cleveland, Columbus, and Pittsburgh. With all three of these cities being relatively close to me, especially my hometown Pittsburgh, I was able to see all three of these shows. Last week was my birthday, so I decided to, I guess, go all out, and it was a really good time. I got to hang out with a few of my friends that went, as well as I met some really cool people in line, including Mr. Jack, who is a legend in the King Gizzard community. He goes to so many shows, he records them, he's got his own stuff online, so I'll link him in the description below. It was really awesome meeting him, and he's a really cool guy. <clears throat> people online were really hyping up King Gizzard shows. They were saying they are like an amazing experience, and you're just going to be blown away. And those people were not lying. Truly, the Pittsburgh show in particular was the best concert I've ever been to. However, I am getting ahead of myself. I'm going to go through the shows one by one, starting with Cleveland. So Cleveland was about a two-hour drive. I got there, I was hanging out with my friends, and one of them actually had an extra ticket. The show is about two and a half hours from starting. My friend is two hours away. I text him. I, I'm like, do you want to go? And he already had plans to go with me to the Columbus and Pittsburgh shows the following days. He just couldn't get one for Cleveland. So when I offered it, he was like, hell yeah. And he got in his car and he zoomed over. He didn't pack anything. He didn't have a change of clothes or anything. So he had to wear the same thing two days in a row. However, I mean, it's a gay show. You got to do what you got to do. I ended up snagging one of the posters. Uh, I'm going to keep both of the ones that I got from this weekend in their tubes, but it looked like this. Getting this poster, though, took a long time waiting in line. So we ended up just going up top and going into the general admission seats. We figured we'll just keep it low key. Jess Cornelius then opened and she was fantastic all weekend long. And then it finally happened. King Gizzard, they came out and I mean, it was just kind of surreal. I mean, whenever you see like your favorite band for the first time live or even, I guess any kind of band, it's just kind of weird being like, whoa, they actually exist. You know what I mean?
So that was the Cleveland show. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it was honestly a really cool start to the weekend. Um, however, I will say it did get progressively better and better. Columbus was a very quick drive for me. It was about an hour and 20 minutes from Cleveland. I got there, I waited in line, and it started pouring. Everyone was starting to panic that maybe the show would get canceled. I mean, really the big factor would be if there was lightning. So we were praying to the Lord of Lightning to uh, kind of keep the weather nice and clear. And while it did rain a lot, the people that we were waiting in line with actually got lucky. We were kind of undercover for, you know, most of the day. However, when we got inside, it was, it, it just started pouring. My friend Clay did not have a poncho. Uh, he didn't end up getting one that was like getting handed out. So he got soaked in the clothes that he had been wearing for already a day now, almost two days. So I felt really bad. And then it was pretty clear for the rest of the night.
So it was really cool for the Columbus show. We got to be in the front. We started waiting around like 1.30 and it was just super cool. We ended up not getting a poster, but it did look like this. And I would definitely say I just like the set list, I think a little bit more than the Cleveland show, which I also need to mention, every single set list this weekend was unique and they played 40 unique songs with no repeats. 40 unique songs with no repeats. I'm sorry, that is, that's pretty mind blowing. And that takes us to the Pittsburgh show on Sunday. It was really cool. I put it in my GPS to go to the venue and it was like 10 minutes. It was so weird. I got there, I got in line. It was pretty much the same time as yesterday around two o'clock. Hung out with Mystery Jack again. And yeah, it kind of rained a little bit when I first got there, but it was pretty clear for the rest of the day. unlike the Columbus show, this one was inside. More specifically, Mr. Small's Theater, which is an old church. So it had like the stained glass and that old church vibe. And I'm sure it was intentional when they did the book and Supreme Ascendancy, you know, due to the religious notes of those songs. <laughs>
load along, fill your lungs was honestly probably my favorite part of the entire weekend just because it was such a surprise. I mean, that was like a dream, you know, bucket list song for me. And so when I, when it, whenever they started playing it, I was just shocked. <laughs> I also ended up getting a set list from the Pittsburgh show. And if you look at my clips, there was a break from self-immolate all the way down to like, blame it on the weather and work this time and stuff like that. The crowd was just so insane that if I tried to film, it, I would have lost my phone. It was probably the most fun experience I've ever had in my life at a concert. Unlike the Columbus show, I was second row. So I actually had to kind of go with the crowd a little bit. You know, I couldn't just, you know, stand there. And everyone was very courteous. Like, I mean, nobody was like being like overly insane, you know, but like it was crazy and everyone was just having a great time. People were looking out for each other. I mean, it was just a really cool vibe. And I mean, you just gotta love the Giz community. And by the way, I didn't actually get the set list from it being tossed to me or anything like that. I asked Mr. Jack if he had one and he was like, no, but if you go and ask that guy over there, he usually carries one. And so I went over, I was like, hey, Mr. Jack says you might have a set list. And he was like, indeed I do. Okay, maybe it didn't go like that, but I, I, I want to imagine it did because it was kind of funny. But anyways, guys, yeah, that was the Pittsburgh show. It was in a really, really fun time. Uh, by the way, this is what the poster looked like, and I did end up snagging one of these. And yeah, if you have any chance to see King Gizzard, I would highly recommend it. It was just an amazing time. The next time I'll be seeing them will be in October when they are in Philadelphia. And so I guarantee you guys I'll have more footage to come whenever I go see them. If you guys have been to one of the shows on this tour, let me know in the comments. What was your favorite song that they played? And if you haven't been to one, or you're going to go to one, which one would you hope that they do? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say, and I'll see you guys in my next video.